Now I've had a solar system installed now for over a month. My Enphase and Alpha ESS battery system has been in for an entire month of August, which means for August 22, I have a full date of data, which I'll be going through in this video. But I'm going to tell you some surprising facts that this Enphase system has taught me about my system and something the Enphase system does that properly future proofs it and includes looking after your data long term. Let's first give you some details about what system I've got, the orientation and some other details. So first of all, this system is using REA solar panels and these are the Fusion 2 panels. Now these panels were specifically designed to work with microinverters. They're bifacial panels, that means they've got solar receptors on the front and the back, and they were designed to have a lower startup rate to work with the Enphase IQ7 Plus microinverters. So these panels were designed by REA to these specifications to work perfectly with these microinverters. Now this system is exclusively sold only by Heatable. Heatable have done a special deal in the UK to only be the ones that can offer these system in the UK. So if you're after one, you'll have to use Heatable. Now, it's worth mentioning Heatable are a channel partner. I've signed a sponsorship deal with Heatable. However, I made it very, very strict within the, the contract that we signed that I could be as open, honest about any issues or mistakes that Heatable the Enphase system or the Alpha ESS system may have caused and that there is some that will definitely be mentioned so make sure you watch the entire video. Now the roof is a northeast azimuth and it's 70 degree azimuth. I'm based in Derbyshire, middle of England and I'm in the northern hemisphere. The the roof means it's slightly north facing, uh, it's, it's a northeast roof but with a slight kick to north, so not the ideal place for a solar roof, really south is the best, but east and west, as we'll show in the stats, will produce solar just as well, just south will generate slightly more. However, the east roof does mean that it fits most people's days when they get up out of bed and it's generating its peak for when it has the sun directly over it. Now there is 10 of them, they're 420 watts each, that gives me 4.2 kilowatts of panels and the microinverters, they have a peak of 290 watts which gives me 2.9 kilowatts that I can actually physically generate from the 4.2 kilowatt panels. Now there is a reason why you overspec the panels and I promise to do a video explaining why you overspec panels to your solar inverter or microinverter in my case. And it's worth noting that my chimney is slightly casting a shadow over my east roof when the sun is obviously moved more to the south and the west direction it's casting a small shadow over those panels and we've got some really interesting facts from the microinverters showing what that actually means for the performance of the system. Now I have an Alpha ESS Smile Free AC coupled battery system which is also on the system. Now initially it was a 5 kilowatt hour system, Heatable have recently upgraded that to a 10 kilowatt hour system video coming explaining how they did that because it's very, very clever. But one thing I do have to mention is how it had a fault with it. Now, now physical fault with the battery, more fault with my install, my complications of my install, that meant that it wasn't reading the grid properly and was actually sucking too much power from the grid sometimes or not boosting up uh, enough power from the battery to support my house load. Now, Heatable actually spotted the issue themselves in their management software because they can still view all their customers' data from the end phase to the Alpha ESS system remotely from their computers and they spotted my system wasn't totaling up properly and sent out an engineer to actually upgrade what's happened to my system and fix the fault. Now, that is mainly because of me. I'm in a very, very unique system because my wiring was already pre-installed because of what I've done and it's a very, very long run. Now, I will explain fully what happened in a video about the battery being upgraded, so make sure you click that notification bell and click subscribe not to miss that review. Before we get into the more amazing facts that the Enphase system found, especially with my chimney and also something really amazing it can do, let's first talk about the raw data. Now, if you want all the raw data, evnick.com forward slash solar. I'll post as much as I can on my website, on my blog, uh, and kind of update it as, as this whole system goes on. So if you want frequent updates, go and check out that part of the website. Now, for the whole month of August 2022, we generated 349.4 kilowatt hours of power. Now, that power meant that I generated 11 kilowatt hours a day from a 10 panel system on a northeast 70 degree azimuth roof. Now that for me, I think is really impressive, but not as impressive as what I learned from the Enphase system. One thing I can do with the Enphase system is get all the panels 
and look at each individual panel's performance. So I can see what every panel has generated per day, per month, or per lifetime of the system, or even per year. Now what I'm gonna do is look at the lifetime of the system. Now the system was in school just before August and we're currently in mid-September. So it's not a huge amount of data to work out how accurate this is. Also, the panel near the chimney is further to the south part of the roof, so therefore it would get slightly more generation sometimes. However, the ones near the chimney, the four here, I'm gonna discount as not sort of in this calculation. Those are the ones that I think have got shading. Even though some of them might only touch a bit of shading, we're gonna count those as shaded panels. And the rest of the panels, we're gonna look at the average of them and then compare it to the difference of the ones in the four shades average. Now, what I saw was a 1.79% difference in quality performance between the rest of the system. So the other system, was the, the four near the chimney were 1.79% worse. Now this isn't a huge amount of data and winter might show that this, this, this gets worse, gradually worse. So I'll carry on comparing the data at evnick.com forward slash solar. So it's not a huge difference, 2% difference. You might think that's not a lot, but over the course of a system, over the course of a year, that could be quite a lot of kilowatt hours. It could, if you generate 10,000 kilowatts hours on your system a year, that could be equate to 2000 kilowatts not being generated by the system so what do you think let me know down in the comments how bad did you think that was going to be did you expect it to be worse now the interesting question is how much those rea panels are doing to kind of combat that shading with the microinverters now when i look at my string system at my work i have 33 panels that's a lot of panels and i can actually see the string system drop in voltage as a cloud passes over that system. So how much of the microinverters are dealing with the clouds and the chimney shading to really improve that overall system performance? I wanna know what you think in the comments. Do you think that microinverters with these special bifacial RAA panels are a real good part of the system, generating more from the limited amount of sun that we get in the UK, because let's be honest, we don't have the best weather. Now I do have an Alpha ESS battery as I mentioned early and I will be doing a review on that but unfortunately I don't really want to compare it into the data of the solar review because it wasn't behaving properly which heat will notice and they've only just fixed that and we've also got a 10 kilowatt hour battery in there which will be more interesting to do on the Alpha ESS battery review video coming up. Now I will also be doing a two month review on the solar system's performance and how the second month with the solar and the battery has been working because Octopus Intelligent has changed the way input works and export works quite dramatically since this video started getting scripted. So make sure you haven't already seen the video about Intelligent, go and check that out because it means the way you'll use your battery in solar will completely change. Finally, we get to my final point about the Enphase system that Enphase aren't talking about, Heatable aren't talking about. Nobody seems to be raving on about one of the most important features of the Enphase microinverter system. And I don't know why, because this is one of the most important. Now they have a 25 year warranty, that's great. But let's assume Enphase aren't around in 25 years. Let's assume they're not around in 10 years, 15 years, 40 years, and your system still works. Well, all these systems, string inverters, uh, battery systems, they all rely on an app. The app talks to the cloud, your system talks to the cloud, and you get your data and how much your panels are generated, how they're doing, all from the cloud, normally. But the Enphase system does it two ways. It does it to the cloud like a normal system. Great, you can retrieve it for your apps. But it also publishes all this data locally on your local network. So you can go to the IP address on your network of the Enphase system and see all the panel information on a little web page that the, that the system actually generates itself. And you can see all that live data, all the historical data, it's all there locally. Now that what this means for someone like me is if you like, using something like Home Assistant, you can pull all the data in locally from Home Assistant without the use of the internet, without the use of the web, which means if, for an example, the Enphase system went down or it got hacked, it doesn't matter because you've got all your data locally and you can see that historically. Now, if you think this is interesting and you want to learn more about Heatable and you're thinking of getting solar, then go to evnick.com forward slash Heatable for Heatable install or check out the playlist here of this video of all the videos I've done around solar and battery tech.